Hello and welcome. We have this beautiful geometry challenge on the board. We are giving a right triangle. You can see it right angles here and inscribed is a circle such that the the outer part of this circle which we call the circumference you see is touching this triangle at this point. Now from here to here is giving us 20 units. From here to here is giving us x and you see from here to here is 6. We want to find the value of x. Now when you have this kind of problem, your ability to identify some circle properties or theorem is your only solution. But don't worry yourself. I'm going to help you to discover some of them. Let's do it together. Now each time you have a circle drawn, we have it that whenever a line is drawn to touch the circle at a point and moves away, this line is what we call the tangent. And whenever you hear about tangent, it reminds you of theorems attached to tangents. Now let's go back. Now you see that this is your circle. This is the outer part of the circle. And you see that this circle is touching this triangle at this point. So it means that this line becomes the tangent. Now what other thing do we need to know? You see that from here to here is the radius. And this is the center. So the line from the center to the circumference is the radius. And remember, for any time the radius comes in contact with the tangent, it always makes angle 90. We call it the tangent and the radius theorem. Now, what will this be? Of what use will it be to us? Now, you see that this is your radius coming in contact with the tangent. It makes angle 90 here. You also notice you can form as many radius as possible. You see that from here, you can form another radius to touch this line. Did you see? And from here to here is your 6. It means this is also radius. Radius are always equal. So it means here to here is 6. Now you also see that it also, because this line is also a tangent, because it's touching here at this point. So this line is also a tangent line. In that case, this radius makes angle 90 here. And you see that if from here to here is 6, automatically from here to here is also 6 units. And if from here to here is 6, from here to here should also be 6. This has formed a square. And in that case, remember we are told the total length is 20. So from here to here has given us 6. The remaining part will give us, we have 20 take away 6 gives us 14. So then when you add the total length, it gives us back 20 units. Now, what do we need again? You observe also that this from here to here is your radius. Did you see? From here to here is your radius touching this at this point. This is your tangent line. You see that this line touches the circle at this point. So you observe that this line, you see that we have this as tangent. And this from here is also a tangent. And this reminds you that for each time you have two tangents coming together at a point, whenever you have two tangents drawn to come together at a point, we say that the two tangents are equal. Our reason is the tangent and tangent theorem. So with this theorem, what do we do? You see that from here to this end should be equal with from here to this end because the two of them are tangents. In that case, from here to here is 14. Automatically, we have it that from here down to this point will also be 14 units because of this theory. Now, in that case, it means the remaining part here will be x minus 14. So that when we add the total length together, if you add this total length together, it gives you back x. Now, what do we need again? You also see that this, you see that here is tangent to this, and this is also in tangent with this. Did you see that? And in that case, it means that from here to here is equal with this to this, obeying this theory. From here to here, we see it's x minus 14. Automatically, we have it that from this end to this end will also be x minus 14 and it means that the total length we have here the total length will be this which is 6 and this x minus 14 
So when we add this together, it gives us x minus 8. So it means the total length here is x minus 8. This total length is x and this is 20. So if you bring that shape out, this is what you have. So it means we have here is x, here is x minus 14, and here is 20. With this, can we find the value of x? You see that this is your right triangle. And whenever you're working with the size of a right triangle, it reminds you of your Pythagorean theorem. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you for choosing to learn to If you're still new, hit that subscription button. And don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up, sharing it to help the algorithm to send to more people that need this skill. Let's keep doing this to have. Applying our Pythagorean theorem, you see that this is the longest side. The side opposite to this is the longest side. So by Pythagoras theorem, you just need to square these two, sum it together, and it should be equal to the square of the longest side. So we're going to have 20 squared plus x minus 8 squared should be equal to x squared. So let's simplify. 20 squared gives us 400 plus. For this, just remember for every a minus b squared, it is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so apply this algebraic identity here we are going to have x squared minus 2 multiplies x multiplies 8 should be plus our b is 8 squared should be equal to our x squared so from here we have 400 plus x squared multiply this it gives us negative 16x 8 squared gives us 64 is equal to x squared. You see that x squared are on both sides, so subtract, it goes off. So we have 400 is equal minus 16x plus 64 is equal to 0. We can add these two together, they are of the same terms. So we have 464 minus 16x is equal to 0. What do you do? Let's remove this. Because it's subtraction, add 16x to both sides. So if you do that, this cancels. So we take it up to half. So from here, we now have 464 is equal to add this to it gives you 16x. So what do you do to get x, remove this 16. So remember that we can also write this as 16x is 464. So to remove this 16, divide by 16. And when you do that, x will give us this cancels. So use this to divide. It gives us 29. It means that the value of x for the question is 29. And I hope you really learned something. Don't forget to tell us how much. Like and share. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comment. Thank you for choosing to learn through us. I hope to see you in my next class. Have a beautiful day. Bye.